See one of the reasons Apostle Jesus Shama say he still tightening. And I want you to listen to him and be blessed by the message that the Lord has for you. No matter what people say about tithe, there are people that still understand what God is doing and what and why they should tithe. Follow this message up and remain blessed. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I want to encourage you to do so. God bless you. Lend me five minutes. Let's wrap up. Please write this. The return channels. There are return channels. When you practice the spiritual laws of wealth and abundance, certain things begin to happen in your life. There are three principal ways that God answers to you as touching your obedience to spiritual laws. Three return channels. Are you ready? Number one, favor with God and men. This is the first return channel to the saints. If and when they practice this, favor is powerful. The proof of favor is not just money. The proof of favor is access to the hearts of kings. Access to the hearts of men. Favor is programmable. Number two, wisdom. The second return channel that comes to you on account of activating these spiritual laws. Ah, my God. Somebody's life is changing. Oh, 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 oh. Oh 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 You are amazing You are amazing You are so amazing You are amazing Listen This is the song you will start singing you know Because listen The kind of favor that will come Next, when it starts coming, don't tell lies and say you don't know what you did. It is explainable. Hmm. Hmm. The songs of joy. So, the first return channel, favor. What is favor? Men willing to participate in your success. Men. Ah, every time men, wait for my teaching, the gift of men. Oh, I have it. There's a teaching that is coming. The Bible says, what is man that you are mindful of? Here's how I read that scripture. What is in man? What did you hide in man that men are not seeing? What did you hide in man? Opportunities. What did you hide in man? Anointings. What did you hide in man? Track records. It's all hidden in man. Please do not downplay the place of favor. Every time you touch your pocket and you see money, Generally speaking, there are only two ways money comes into your hand. Favor and value. We are coming there. Only. The favor of God is powerful. You can sleep in the prison one night and wake up a prime minister. Because favor was upon you. Can I tell you, many of us who are trusting God for land and structural establishment, above and beyond savings, it is the favor of God that gives men land. Psalms 44 verse 3. I can tell you, God can favor you into establishment. Read with me if you are a Christian. One, two, go. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them. But thy right hand and thine arm, the light of thy countenance. Why? Because thou hast a favor unto them. When favor is upon you, the only person who cannot bless you is a blind person. Because the moment they can see you is a charm-like force of attraction that compels men to participate in your success. Believe me, I know what I'm saying. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. B part says, And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Even the king, verse 17, could not reject her. The Bible says the king loved Esther above all the women. She obtained grace and favor in his sight. He set a royal crown on her hand and made her to be queen instead of Vashti. Exodus chapter 3 from verse 21. It has become an anthem here in Koinonia. May that work in your life. And I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of everyone in Abuja and Nigeria and anywhere. And it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. Emptiness has an explanation. It means the favor of God is not at work in your life. You don't do bold face for favor. If it is not there, it is honestly not there.
when favor is there it speaks immediately when the favor of god is on you even a fish will swallow coin for your sake and come and bring it near you can a fish bite coin but not when the master has need of it somebody will drop a donkey at the middle of the road and keep it for you there say so lose that coat if they ask you say the master had need of it a coat that no man had ridden why because he increased in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men number two is wisdom wisdom has five dimensions but two of them are most important when it has to do with wealth divine direction and divine strategies these are the dimension of wisdom required for wealth if the lord is my shepherd i shall not want elihu said in chapter 2 and verse 8 of job he said but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty maketh men of understanding when you read job chapter 29 the first four verses job began to give us the secret of his financial exploits and he says all oh, that i was in the days of my youth he says when god preserved me verse 3 he says when his candle shined upon my head and when by his light i walked through darkness and now he begins to list all the things that happened to him the young men saw him and stood up the old men refrained from talking princes saw him they bowed everybody say wisdom the bible says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom it says does not wisdom cry by me kings reign and princes decree justice the bible says with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness there is a relationship between wisdom and wealth number three the third key is the blessing the blessing what the bible calls the blessing the activation of the blessing in your life business people have called this all kinds of names they've called it the law of attraction they've called it all kinds of things we call it in the kingdom the blessing the blessing is a very powerful spiritual quality that functions like a magnet it has an assignment of attracting to your life people opportunities and resources the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit that rests upon a believer activated by engaging these principles the assignment to bring to your life listen to me if i throw nails here please look up we're wrapping up koinonia if i throw metallic nails here think how laborious it will be to pick all of them one by one all i need to do is to bring a serious magnet and just run it around and every one of it will come that magnetic property men can exhibit it are we together now please believe what i'm telling you that you can be in a city where it looks like everybody is a giver it just depends on what is on you the same person who will refuse to give you will carry one million and tell somebody can i have the privilege of honoring you so is that person greedy it's just relative to what is on you you can step into a city and every good thing begins to gravitate towards you again resources both human and material opportunities there are people it's only when good things want to happen that you just suddenly find them there they didn't just come there there is a grace called the blessing it draws them there are we together and this is what is coming on someone just you sat down in this it's not just a lecture you have been receiving ladies and gentlemen you will leave this place and suddenly someone who did not call you for three four years you see 20 missed calls and you are wondering why don't no, I, i'm giving perspective to your experiences so that you don't just thank god in ignorance you know the name of what happened to you then you can help others grow too can i be honest with you i prayed these things in my life because i knew that without these things ministry will be it will be as if god didn't send you you know what it means to do ministry in this city without this revelation you are in trouble except if you want to serve satan or go to an idol apostle i came from a background where no one has risen in our family economically speaking we all love jesus but it looks like nothing seems to happen i bring you a word of hope in this kingdom we know that there is hope for a tree what i've taught you now has nothing to do with being a preacher being a businessman 
We have not even this. You see that we have not mentioned anything business. Let me tell you this. When you engage, the spiritual laws of wealth and abundance are responsible for the arrival of financial resources in your life. Then the physical laws of wealth and abundance are responsible for the management and the multiplication of financial resources. Are you seeing the roles that they play? When you are looking for financial resources, it is engaging the spiritual laws that bring them to your life. Then when they now come, if the only thing you know are the spiritual laws, you will keep having momentary breakthroughs, one testimony, and then you have another one next year. Everything God gives, gives man, he gives, he simulates that operation and plants in it the principle for continuity. It is called the ability to replenish. You cannot be wealthy if you are only fruitful. You must sustain the ability to replenish. Hallelujah. Please hear me. You may have come from a background where the whole family was in a room with rain leaking. And yet in your dreams and your visions, you see yourself standing before nations, feeding nations, funding the work of the kingdom, building churches single-handedly. The way out is not just to do business. Before business. The way out is not just investments. Believe me when I tell you this. The way out is not just a job. The first principle is this revelation. All wealth comes from God and belongs to Him. All wealth comes from God. It will reach me from men or through men to me. And that the wealth and the abundance in this kingdom I'm only given stewardship over it. Therefore, I remain humble and grateful. And then you understand that the kingdom is founded on laws, not superstition. This is where Africa keeps getting cheated. Does God perform miracles? I believe that absolutely. Does God perform financial miracles? Absolutely. But he has set in motion a principle and tied it to the earth. It will not change. Absolute surrender. The law of the tithe, the law of open heavens, the law of giving, and you release this tree, favor comes for you. Wisdom comes for you. The blessing that is already upon you is activated through your obedience to these laws. And all of a sudden, financial resources begin to come to you. One man coming as sent by God can hold your hands. And you can climb a ladder that took people 10 years, literally, in one day. It took 430 years to be in captivity. But ladies and gentlemen, it did not even take off to one day. That night, could not the king sleep. And then, he drove them out and gave them gold and gave them silver and gave them everything. They left with joy and honor and dignity. How about Mordecai? That night, could not King Ahasuerus sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. When they opened it, who is in the chamber there? And it was that beast called Haman. He said, what should be done to such a man? And Haman thought he was himself. So he gave the best recommendation. God knows how to lift you. Yours is to trust him and just to obey. Please rise up on your feet. Please rise up on your feet. Participate in this prayer for the next two minutes. You're on your way to better days. You're on your way to better days. It's a prophetic word for someone. You're on your way to better days. Regardless your background. You're on your way to better days. Status is changing. There's no more decline. You're on your way to better days. Prophesy in one minute to yourself. Status is changing. Slow no more decline. You're on your way to better days. I'm on my way. On my way. On my way. To better days. There's only one prayer point for tonight. And then I make the altar call and we're done. One prayer point. Now that ye know these things, happy are you if you do them. Please lift your voice and obtain the grace to do. 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 Are you praying? 
the grace to do shalika parus kata belakata shande malas kade bahas ko prandi katala the grace to do all the overflows are you praying following online are you praying i obtain the grace to study this afresh the grace to understand indeed in this season in addition to all that he's given me he grants unto me the power to get well through knowledge through sound exegesis of the truth someone is praying days of delay come to an end days of financial retrogression come to an end regardless my background regardless my past i find a new path to a glorious destiny i believe that you have watched and listened to the message of the lord through the mouth of his servant i want you to believe every word and declaration and prayer that was uttered and that word that god speak to your heart while listening to it put them into art put them to practice and live by the word of the lord and live a faithful christian life and prepare yourself for the coming of our lord jesus christ shalom and remain blessed subscribe to this channel god bless you